in America, I was going through a lot um, with past things that had happened to me over a 10 year span. And my very close friends who had been there for me a lot in London are Saudi and they gave me Quran. And I brought it to New York because I was learning and I was, and it was, it opened doors for me to experience and uh, spiritually to find another, you know, true meaning. And this is who I am. But this is just me holding it with me walking, going. Whereas the paparazzi may be across the street, I didn't know. And they crucified me for it in America. They made me seem like Satan. Mm -hmm. I was a bad person for holding that Quran. And, that, and I, I was so happy to leave and go back to London after that because I felt so unsafe in my own country after this. I mean, people were like horrible to me. And just because this is my belief, if, I want, if this is something I want, to, I want to learn, this is my personal, my own will. This is not for you to express. If you want to say it, keep it to yourself. I'm not looking at what you do every day. Maybe you're not doing enough because you're bored hurting me. But I can't imagine how many people go through this all the time. And that made me feel like an outsider. So I understand why uh, you know, the Turkish people are upset because they live in a great, beautiful place. And I understand why women that wear headscarves are, are looked at differently because I felt like that. So when the woman, when I was in Antep, she put that headscarf on me, I felt really honored because of that. Because she went out of her own way to allow me to be part of her culture. And she didn't have to do that. You know, I was a stranger to her. And I merely said I really liked the color of her headscarf and she gave it to me. And maybe she only has two. And she gave me one. There's more to that story that occurs. And I said, you know what? Because this woman took the time to give me this and, and a part of herself, not even knowing me, I'm not taking it off. And, and my first thought, and I, and I said to my good friend Hillel, I said, but it scares me because people are going to look at the headscarf and only talk about that. They're not going to ask the real questions about why. Because that's not interesting. It will become headlines suddenly, right? You know, and it should. It should. Mm -hmm. It should be headlines. It's okay, because in Turkey you have a free will as a woman if you want to or you don't want to. That's why it's amazing here. You can choose what you want and it's accepted. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm in America holding a Quran and I'm the devil. No, you have to, you have to acknowledge the good parts of, of a, a place where we think is so bad. You know, people think it's so dangerous. It's really like we're sitting in a really nice place and we're very lucky to even be here. Yeah. So it's about time we start, you know, recognizing the truth and doing something.